Pakistan's embattled former Prime Minister Imran Khan has told Al Jazeera that he has no issue with the military. He's previously accused the powerful institution of interfering in politics. Osama bin Javed sat down with him in Lahore. You say that the problem is with the army chief, but you also say that you promise that you will not sack him. So which one is it? I have no problem with him, but he seems to have a problem with me. There's something floating out on the, on the social media about some statement he's, or allegations he's made against me, which are quite worrisome because if he, that's what he thinks about me. But it's his problem. There's some reason why he has decided that whatever happens, Imran Khan cannot come into power. Army is an institution. You don't directly, uh, uh, what is the word? I mean, you do not want to interfere with it to affect it like all our other institutions have been weakened. And if it's a surety he wants that I shouldn't sack him, well, I was willing to give it. So the, all I'm saying is the problem is not from my side. You wanted an ex-general to become the army chief instead of the current one, General Faiz Hamid, who's accused by your political opponents of engineering you into power. This is, again, a, a myth. And this myth was floated by General Bajwa. I never, a, a year before the uh, uh, appointment of the army chief, I never even thought about who should be the army chief. For a start, apart from General Faz, I didn't know any of the other contenders. When I knew General Bajwa was trying to oust me, he was already, I knew that the, the, the conspiracy was going on. I should have then removed him because I could have denotified him. But despite knowing all that, I decided, I said, I'm not going to interfere with the army. And so the, all I'm saying is that what is happening right now is not because of me. It's nothing I have done to antagonize the, the army chief. There is something he has on me, he has against me, which I don't know. Well, you have a history with him and he was the intelligence chief. Let's come back to uh, independent analysts say that there is, there is a pattern to what happens in Pakistan. Whoever is in government says they're on the same page as you did when you were in power. Now the people who are in power say they're hand in glove with the military establishment. The relationship has never been better as it is now. And when they come in the opposition, they accuse the party in power of taking them out of politics. In my three and a half years of power, can you tell me of any incidents like what has, what has been happening to the us PMLN, for one year? The PMLN was, was cracked down on. P the t television screens were not allowed to air their interviews. Their leadership was rounded up, including their women as well. This is what they're saying on television screens. It is just such a bunch of lies. First of all, during our time, there were only 5% of the cases against them. 95% of corruption cases against the PML leadership was from their own time. Nawaz Sharif's two sons ran away from Pakistan during their government. You allowed Nawaz to leave, though. No, but first of all, all the 95% of the corruption cases were when we inherited them. Nawaz went uh, during our time, but unfortunately, you know, we didn't realize that his reports were all doctored. We thought he wouldn't survive a day. You know, we were told in the cabinet. Anyway, what I'm saying is that you cannot even think of comparing what has happened to us in the last one year as opposed to what happened to them.